Hi, I'm Pete Staples, CEO of Blue Clover Devices. And if you're like me, you need something to look forward to. And something I look forward to is the ubiquity of Type-C connectors. Why? Because Type-C is compact and reversible and this diminutive connector can move loads of data and loads of power. And with Type-C's expansion, it holds out the promise of getting rid of many, many wall warts or power supplies, power adapters. These things are everywhere. They ship with all kinds of products and they could be rendered completely unnecessary. And these have lots of assorted voltages, lots of assorted tips. This is even a container full of just different sized tips if you can imagine so all that goes away with type C but as George Sand said simplicity is difficult and not all type C cables are created equally so in this video I'm going to review three different cables and three different type C cable testers. Uh, the cables are one from Amazon Basics, one from Apple, and one from Blue Clover Devices. And the testers are one from Satechi, one from Power Z, and one from uh, Triplight. So I had to think about how best to test these. And I'm just going to use a beefy power adapter from Apple that can capable of supplying 96 watts. And then I need to sync that power into something. Initially I was using my laptop, but I wasn't crazy about the idea of plugging in all these little devices that I don't necessarily know where they came from. I don't know everything about Stuxnet, but I'm pretty sure it happened something like plugging in a device like this into a device like this and wasn't really keen on that. So then I was going to try a power bank, but this simply doesn't draw enough power to be meaningful as a tester. If you can afford it, I've heard excellent things about the ACT2 tester from Total Phase. Uh, but that runs around $15,000. So what I'm going to use is something that we found on Amazon uh, from Maker Hawk. Maker Hawk. That is $50. So let's have a look at this bad boy. I'm unboxing the MakerHawk USB tester. I've got the Apple 96 watt power supply here, and I've got the cables next door. So it's packed like this. Oh great, another power supply. side and it comes like this looks like it's intended for Germany and some probes screen in place.
some Chinese characters. And this says coarse and fine. So I guess this is how you're adjusting the load. So we're going to go from power supply, the cable, to a tester, which may be built into this, but we'll try some of these other testers first. Let's try Zetechi. See what happens. Type fit here. Nothing's happening. All right, so type C was not not working, as I said, so I plugged in a micro USB cable in from a little 5 watt power supply, and this is how the load is adjusted. So I can see 5 volts, and the fan starts spinning, and this should go be capable of going up to an amp. And it does. It's pretty cool. I wish it worked for the Type C. Okay. I have three cables and three testers. This one is from Triplight. We got it off DigiKey. I think it was $11. This one is a bit of a moving target. It's Power Z, and we tried to get it on Amazon. It was out of stock. Then we got it on walmart.com, and now it's out of stock there. Um, we'll, we'll test it. And then this one is from Satechi, which is generally available on Amazon. And we have three cables, Amazon Basics, Apple, and Blue Clover. So let's start with Amazon Basic, and we'll go through all three testers. Four point six nine. Point seven zero and two point oh five amps. This is Amazon and the Tetchy. Four point seven eight three. Now it's seven nine three. Two point oh four five. And this is Power Z. And it's got a little more dynamic display going in there. Now triple eight. Four point six nine. It seems like there must be a way to toggle the 
display. I'm not seeing a button on here. That's odd. I think it can display amps, but right now it just seems to toggle between zero and a volt voltage measurement. Interesting. I was looking for a cost-efficient way to test out USB-C cables like this, and I thought I'd found it in the MakerHawk. This is a, an adjustable load, and I really wanted to fall in love with this thing, but unfortunately, when I plug in a Type-C cable, nothing happens. There's no circuitry connected to this that will trigger the current flow that we're looking to measure. So I'll be returning this, and I've opted for this uh, little breakout board from SparkFun. Uh, this includes two little resistors here and here, which are 5.1k ohm, and they're on the CC1 and CC2 lines, and that's required by USB to uh, initiate the current flow that we're looking to measure. So I'll combine that breakout board with this programmable load that we have here in the lab and we'll take a look at the cables. Okay, we're gonna be comparing the Amazon Basics two meter cable with the Apple two meter cable and the BCD two meter cable. Okay, the setup is pretty simple. We need a source of current. We have our cables that we're testing and we need a sink to hold all the current that we're pulling through the cable. Uh, what we're using as the sink is the IT8511 Plus from iTech, a company in Shenzhen. And we're going to have it configured for a constant current at three amps, which is the maximum that we're able to pull through the Amazon cable. Uh, these are the inputs, and they're connected up through these mini grabbers into the SparkFun breakout board, and then I'll connect the cables and then connect the other end to the source here. All right, first we'll test out the Amazon cable. And we're seeing 4.15 volts. Turn this off. All right. Try out the Apple cable. Four point three four, we'll call it. Okay. Now for the BCD cable. 4.38. Okay, to summarize our assessment of three different USB-C cables, I've got this little table set up. So, pricing, Amazon at 9, Apple 19, BCD 12. The Amazon cable is capable of 15 watts, and Apple and BCD can deliver up to 100 watts of power. 
and because they exceed 60 watts, they both have the eMarker chip, which is not in the Amazon cable. And finally, taking a look at the voltage at the current sink, it is the lowest at, with the Amazon cable at 4.15. Um, in the middle of the road is Apple at 4.34, and the highest voltage is 4.38 for the PCD cable. And what that means is the resistance is lowest with the VCD cable, so it's delivering the most power from the source to the current sink. And this is not too surprising if you just look at the cables, you can tell this is the thinnest. Uh, this is the Amazon cable. The Apple cable is medium thickness and the thickest BPS cable of the set is the BCD cable. And so there's less waste on in its delivery of power. Thanks for watching.